Good morning, super cool party people. No. Honestly, I'm not feeling it today. I woke up right out of a dream. I can't remember the dream now, but like right out of a dream, which is the worst. And um, I really just want to go back to sleep for like four more hours or something. I think I got like five hours of sleep. And I had such an unproductive day yesterday too. Like that's the worst. Like I feel like if I had been productive and got five hours sleep, I'd at least feel better about things. But because I got super distracted trying to find something that I didn't end up finding, yeah, it kind of sucks. Anyway, here I am at work and I'm gonna do my, drink my breakfast drink and then get to work and I think it's gonna be a longer day today because that obviously happens on days when I'm not feeling it tip top and um, we'll go from there. At least because we moved D&D &D from Friday to Saturday, I can go to sleep early or like at least have a nap or something. So that's a win, but I guess we'll just see how where where the day takes us. We'll see where the day takes us. All right, so I am off work and um, We have a fun thing to unbox <laughs> I'm always so like uh, After unboxing my GoPro and how terribly that went I like don't even want to unbox things anymore Like I got myself a Google Home Mini the other day. I didn't even film it because we know but It's super cute. It's blue yeah. Anyway, the thing we have to unbox is the PlayStation Classic. So, we were growing up a Nintendo household. So we didn't have a PlayStation, we didn't have Sega, we had Nintendo. And um, I didn't actually get my first PlayStation until first year university when I bought the PlayStation 2 Special Edition Slim White. Strictly for the purposes of SingStar. <laughs> Which, if you watched the vlog from yesterday, you can see me playing it with my friends back in the day. Anyway, um, but you know, we have all the other classics, so why not get this classic? I'm a little sad, though, because there's no Spyro or Crash Bandicoot, but they did just release, like, that Spyro thing. The remix. Anyway, it's, like, really awkward. I need to lift this camera up, so give me a second. <laughs> Alright, that's a little better. So, let's find some scissors. We're well prepared. We have scissors. So I am, uh, you know, a knife would have been better. We're off to a stellar start. Yes, let me cut towards myself. I have not yet learned. Also, funny story, so I pre-ordered it. So it should have been here on like the 3rd. Because that was the release date. It got picked up on the 30th, so like there was time. But because of the strike, the postal strike in Canada, it was like every day. It was like, mm, how about the 10th? How about the 11th? And yesterday it was like... It's moving! How about the 12th? And then I was figured it would show up. Oh my goodness. I figured it would show up here soon though because once it kind of got moving, it didn't have far to go. PlayStation! Anyway, in we come. So, there's the how to PlayStation thing. <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness, it is so tiny! That is the cutest. It feels smaller than the other ones, but I don't know. Oh my goodness. It's, it feels like something you get in like a McDonald's kids pack, like back in the day. <laughs> Look at it. It's so tiny. It's like a little puppy. Anyway, that's really funny. It's got an open button on it, even though it doesn't open, assumably. Anyway, so there that is. And it comes with two controllers, and here's one, which is like the size of the unit. That's just ridiculous. Technology, eh? Like, whew. Anyways, just your regular Sony controller. Obviously, it's got USB because we're not going back into the day where you need to blow on controller plugs to get them to work. It's got another one here. A USB cable for charging. I was reading on the back and I don't think it actually has the AC adapter, so we'll have to figure something out for that, see what the output is that it needs. And then the HDMI cable. So, I just, I can't get over how tiny this is. This, I can't, it's, I can't. It's so cute, I can't. Anyway, obviously we will get that hooked up in a little bit here. 
I, I want it to open. It says it's gonna open. Anyway, um, we'll probably get this hooked up in the next few days with the other classics, uh, or maybe even the next few hours, and I will uh, let you know how that goes, I guess. But now I think I'm gonna go take a nap, because I'm tired. So I said I was gonna go have a nap, and then I just definitely didn't, but I just watched like three episodes of Survivor, including like the two hour long final, so that season's done. I think I'm gonna watch the, what am I gonna watch? the live reunion at the end of it, even though it's so far past being live, but I'm gonna watch that, I think. And then I came up with a bunch of ideas for book one while I was thinking about book two today, so I think I might putter back to that for a bit. Yeah. So I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but when I write, I like to listen to one song on repeat because it distracts the part of my brain that is so apt to getting distracted so I can actually focus on things. So while I was writing book one, one of the books that, writing book one or editing? No, I think writing. Um, one of the songs I listened to a lot was Ariana Grande's No Tears Left to Cry. And today, this new acapella girl group, acapella group, girl pow, uh, this <laughs> acapella group comprised solely of five girls. Uh, called Citizen Queen dropped a cover of it and it is so good and I am obsessed and I am sad that it is not available except for on YouTube right now because I would download that in a heartbeat and I would listen to it on repeat because it's that good but like yeah but yeah you should totally check them out because they are so good and it's like it always amazes me like I like Pentatonix and they're so good and they sound so full, like I'll be listening to it, I'll be like, oh right, they don't have instruments, and that's what I feel listening to this, so I hope that the rest of the songs that they release, because they apparently like film for music videos, I hope that the rest of the songs are like bomb like this too. Anyway, I have been sitting here writing down book one editions, and um, I think I might actually settle in and try to add some of these things, uh, fix a few of the grammar issues that Pam sent my way, um, yeah. Very, very exciting. Okay, so I've made it to chapter four and it's actually like it's really daunting to look at 130 pages and go, I need to edit this, which is why when I first edited the book, I retyped the entire thing because it was just very stressful to look at it and go. And so it definitely took me a little bit to get into it, but I have made it to chapter four, 11 pages in out of 130. Like, there's so many words, so many pages. But um, I added something, it was one of the comments that Pam had, um, and so I added something in. It was one of the things I was thinking about today while I was at work. Um, so I just quickly wrote, it's just like two paragraphs, but I think it just a little... I don't want to ruin anything. So I copied and I pasted it into an email, I sent it to her, and I was like, this is where it comes in the story, uh, what do you think? So because she's the only person who's read the whole thing that I know of at least so far. So reached out to her for some comments. Wow, wow, my brain, it just stopped. Um, and also, I, uh, hard drive, I had to go look at other stuff because when I did a bunch of online writing classes, I did world building and various other things and so on my lovely hard drive here, I have a bunch of information about the rest of Illyria because as I was building other stories out, I was building Illyria at the same time. And so I was like, frick, what was the name of that thing? So I had to pull it up on here, but it was very easy to find because it was a very well laid out document that I had. It's like 46 pages long. It's ridiculous maps and timelines and pictures and words. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here for the night. I'm going to end being productive because, let's see, writing 200 words is a lot. <laughs> it's so not, but like I said, it is 11 pages that I went through. It's nice, there's not a lot of grammar issues, but there are some, but it's not so bad. So yeah, so I'm through 11 pages. I think that's a good start for the day, and then I'll keep going 
you know, now that I'm in it, it's not so scary, I think. Um, and then I do have one other thing that I really definitely, really definitely want to add to this book. Um, it should just be, again, a couple paragraphs. It shouldn't be too big, but I think it'll make a big difference in the long run. Um, also, I should not be so scared to add stuff to this book because it's still a draft. We can still add things to it. So, yeah, but let's see. What's today? Today's the 7th. Let's aim a week by next Friday. Yeah, you know what? I think I can do that because I think I'm off most of the next week. I might go visit Jessica. I haven't decided. It's really expensive to go on the bus to go visit her, but we will see. Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbering and I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure. I don't know what's going on with my brain. It's just not good. And I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.